Good morning, everybody. Welcome to MQTT Monday. Today's edition signifies the start of the MQTT 5 Essential Series, where we will be talking about the successor of the most popular IoT protocol, MQTT. In this graph, you can see how MQTT rose in popularity over the last few years. This Essential Series will be talking about all the features that MQTT 5 introduces one by one. Today's video will talk about MQTT history and the principal goals of the MQTT 5 protocol. The protocol got invented by Andy Stanford Clark and Arlen Nipper in 1999. In 2010, its 3.1 version was released to the public and got quickly adapted by the OASIS Technical Committee, which released the first standardized version 3.1.1 in 2014. After the protocol got widely adapted for more than four years, the OASIS committee talked to its users and was starting to introduce the MQTT5 specification to fill out all the blind spots and the shortcomings of the protocol. This process was successfully ended in 2019 and HivenQ was proudly a big part of this specification process. The principal goals identified by the OASIS Technical Committee for MQTT5 were improved error reporting, better scalability and performance, improved support for smaller clients, introducing commonly used patterns into the protocol itself, and making the protocol more extensible. As you might have noticed, the MQTT versioning skipped number four. This is due to the reason that the protocol header itself specifies 4 as MQTT 3.1.1. Now, if you are wondering if MQTT 5 is the right fit for you and your IoT project, keep listening to the series where we'll be talking about all the fundamental changes and the specific features over the next weeks. Thank you.